Hello, welcome. This live broadcast is brought to you by CRIT, the Honorable Minister for Environment, Science, Technology and Innovation, Dr. Kweku Efriye, visited CSIR Crops Research Institute. The minister, driven by his desire to build a more science-driven society in Ghana and his passion for agriculture, visited CRI, an institute that stands for his vision. I am Evelyn Mwache from CRI TV. Enjoy this program. The Institute took the opportunity to do an exhibition of some of the varieties it has released over the years. These varieties include new varieties of rice, maize, yam, cassava, and other varieties of legumes. The director of Crops Research Institute, Professor M. B. Mochi, highlighted on some of the key challenges facing the institute. These include project funding, road networks, irrigation, land encroachment, electricity bills, and huge taxes on importation of lab equipment. Funding for research is wonderful. The government pays our salaries and what we need to do research, we don't get it. We normally rely on donor funding to do our research. So major sources of R&D are Armenian agencies and foreign collaborators. And they say people pay the high cost of the team. So if the government does not support us, and we always want to rely on our donors. We will set the priorities and agenda for us, which might not be in the interest of our government. The former minister said that they want to give 1% of GDP to research and development. But we have not yet seen that. So we are really if you can add that way to that. The Director General of the Council of Scientific and Industrial Research, Professor Victor Ajeman, also highlighted on some of the achievements of the Institute. The director mentioned, but I just want to rephrase that. One of them is that uh, 90% of all the maize in Ghana has a source from this place and Sari. So if anybody has eaten any maize product, it is from CSIR. And the director also mentioned that 70% of all carbons also comes from CSIR. These are important statistics that we Honorable Minister should know. It is not a big problem, but I know that for what we see, about 10% of all yams also are from uh, CSIR. But Honorable Minister, the challenges are that, you know, whenever the variety is released, it is given to Mofa, and they give it straight to farmers. So they don't trace it back to uh, CS. I am. So most people do not know the value of uh, CSIR. So, Honorable Minister, that is something that we believe you can help us address so that we have value for the research that we do. And if possible, MOFA has to pay us uh, for the varieties that we, we produce. The sector minister, Dr. Kweku Efriye, promised the council to do his utmost during his tenure of office 
He emphasized that by the end of his tenure, the average Ghanaian citizen should think science and technology. It is aware. And I keep on saying, one of my mandates is this innovative thing and then tiny whole thing. By the time my use by date comes to an end, that may be I'm discarded and I take my retirement. Then Messi or science for that matter will have permeated into the Ghanaian cultural ethos. So that the average Ghanaian, if he's not even a scientist, will know how a scientist thinks. If you know how a scientist thinks, then you are thinking science, and then the others can. Let me elaborate a little bit. If we put science at the forefront of national development, may even have ramification, even in education, both in terms of enrollment and curriculum. I do think we will then in so far to have to enroll about, let's say, ratio 70% science-based students versus 30% liberal arts and business students. And then the curriculum will be so enriched that even if somebody took business in senior high school and the person wanted to do medicine, maybe with a little top up, he can easily do that. That is how our society should evolve. That's how I see it. Otherwise, if you don't do that, we cannot compete with the rest of the world. Because obviously, if you travel, you met the average Swiss person, if you met the average South Korean, and if you were a taxi driver, you see that his mindset is science. He might not know exactly how the gadgets work, but he knows where to go for knowledge. He further informed the media on the outstanding contribution of the Institute to the Planting for Food and Jobs program and other socio-economic development programs. Planting for Food and Jobs Agriculture <laughs> They a dear Mudian in a if it's a research institution. A bean subine a month, a month so quite a substantial percentage. In fact, Gana Hamona, you do, and we've been doing him so much, they say. A bean much at that crowd, I talk ever talk maybe. No more, I push a bag, no more branding, it is a defeat, Vietnam, near America, and everybody, a year perfume rice. No, 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 a year crop research is to necessary no omay. Omay and you may be pre quite a good or cry. You be a buyer, may can my major buyer so. Umberno, Puna said you mostly propagating one kind of now, dear Puna, or talk, which are the two now they are two now, or who fear no one one for one. And then they are one for so many. It's my question more laboratories, no, you have some more problems over that.
Yeah, I'm going to miss you, Ramon.